are you ready for the, like the industry and shit? Are you ready for that? Because you know, once something hit, once you yeah, hit, course, yeah. you ready I mean, for that scrutiny? You ready to get canceled, bro? You think you at, ready to stand up getting canceled? At, 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 for sure. At the end of the day, right? Because you don't even got to be controversial. At the end of the <laughs> day, controversial to get canceled. Everybody here has an opinion that right. will make them go viral if right. they said it. Right. You right. got some people who was talking about Trump, but really was they, they might not say it in public, but a yeah. vote for Trump in the background. Right. Or you right. got stuff that happened that people would say. So at the end of the day, all I'm saying is my opinion. Right. Again, when I went back to music is an extension of who I am. I bid all day, I trolled right, right. in real life. Like right. we you would see me with my family, we'd just be trolling all day. So <laughs> me saying something, I'm just telling you my opinion. Right. If you don't like it, that's fine. But at the end of the day, like just to piggyback off of Q, like with the with the music thing and, and, and how to build yourself up, you gotta remember, it's like a you, it's like a channel. Yeah. You got the ID channel, you might see unsolved mysteries and all that. You got ESPN which has sports. This is your channel. Mm-hmm. What do you want people to see on your channel? This is your channel. Right. I'm quite sure it's a channel that you know that you don't watch. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. It, it, I don't it, even watch cable. I, I, say, look. I it, watch fucking YouTube and shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll be watching it's YouTube. Rappers that you know, it's rappers yeah. that you know that's popping that you don't like. <sighs> it it got to be one. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and it, because it's, you're right. It's not about. So what I'm saying it's is. It's not so, about that. It's about who fuck with you. So who yeah. can really get canceled for real? For oh! This is the crap! Oh, 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 get money this morning, likely. Today, we got a couple of them balls in here, man. You know what I mean? You be seeing them billboards around. You be seeing that 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 promo. You be seeing them posters everywhere. Then you you, you see niggas running up on niggas with diamond testers. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, we got SKE Records. Sean Archer. Cue the question in the motherfucking building. Let's go. What's going on, bro? What's up, man? What's going on with you, man? You know, still working, but thank you for bringing us on. Nah, man. Thank y'all for coming, man. Y'all be running around crazy, man. My man, Sean Archer, this is my first time sitting down with you, bro. Yeah, so yeah. I just got to ask you, like, when did you get into hip-hop? Like, when did you get into music? Like, what's your story, bro? I've been doing music since I was a kid, man. Like, since, like, since I first really heard it, really. I've been, I, I was the type that used to write down the lyrics mm-hmm. and rap some of the other people's shit. Okay. You know what I mean? So I always wanted to write my own raps. My man, Pop, used to rap. Free, yeah. free, 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 poppy, whatever mm-hmm. he booked right now. But he's like, he's always be rapping. He's like, I'm, I used to say the same rap over and over. He's like, yo, me need to write your own shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you know what? I just started writing. So I've been doing it since I was young, man. Yeah, like, so when did you yeah. start, like, taking serious? Like, when you get in the game, game? Well, started like, taking it serious probably in the last, like, few years, really. You know what I mean, yeah. in the beginning stages, it was just me doing it for fun, for mm-hmm. a hobby. You know what I mean, just, you know, battling and stuff like that. But then once I realized it was a business, that's when I started taking it serious. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, when you, matter of fact, when you run into this guy, right? Cue the question, man. This man's marketing genius. He yeah, out here sure. <laughs> shaking shit up. Crazy on the social media. It's crazy on the promo. When you, how y'all two link, bro? He can finish the story. All right. All right. Uh, all right. So basically what happened, one of my childhood friends and his cousin, had him and him, him, his cousin, him and Q had a label together. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean that's how he started yeah. SK Records. You know okay. I mean? And then that's so we. I was always around for when they was in the studio mm-hmm. rapping and stuff like that. And okay. The rest is basically history. All right. Yeah, we had some mutual friends was doing music and yeah. you know things change and me and him just got real cool and yeah. I always liked his work ethic, man. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, yo, man, let's let's do some stuff. You know what uh, I mean? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You got. A lot of uh, a lot of dope records, a lot of dope videos, man. If you get a chance, make sure you check out my man's YouTube. Yeah, for sure. Bro, Sean shit's TV. Full, filled with content, man. Showing out your TV for Sean sure. There's more TV. content coming for sure. Definitely, IG go crazy. You know what I, mean? I am showing out you. you know what I mean, <laughs> for sure, man. Like being a Philly artist, man. How do you separate yourself from these other guys, bro? Out here, it's like so many artists. Like Philly, really is like. The home of the spitters, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. Like, yeah, yeah. so it got to be more than everybody got bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but what you do is, all you got to do is, for me, it's just being myself. Like, music is one thing, but music's supposed to be, it's supposed to be an extension of who you are as a person. Yeah. So everybody is different. So yeah, everybody yeah, got yeah, something yeah. about them that stand out. So yeah. for me, I'm just being myself. Like, if you listen to my music, yeah. and you talk to me and really get to know how I live and stuff like that, you're going to see the same thing. Ain't really yeah. nothing, you know I mean? nothing to it. So I just okay. feel like being yourself is the main way you stay. That's how you stand out. Okay. Mm. All right. So, Q, you mm. out here hitting niggas with promo, all types of shit. No doubt. Give me, like, the, um, I guess, the pros and the cons of working with, like, print marketing like what a pros is it is just you know it's getting your stuff out to the masses because i mean people be like yo does that still work and 
in this era, this, that, and the third. But I'm like, yo, when somebody running for mayor or president, they out in the streets heavy. So if the politicians are doing it, who you, who are you as a rapper not to do it? Right. So it's a lot of pros because think about it. We see stuff on TV. Right. We see stuff on YouTube. Right. When you're driving on I-95, going whatever, right. don't you see billboards for like Skittles, a Dunkin' Donuts, a Coca-Cola? Right. So, and so if you ain't got billboard money, why right. not get like some promo posters and put them all over your city? And it's not right. hard. Right. The only kind that I would say is that they rip them down. But yeah. After they've been up three, four weeks, mm-hmm. a couple of months, the message was already out already. Because yeah. you know how many times people would hit me up and be like, yo, Q, I've seen them SKE Records posts all over Philly. I've seen, right. seen them Sean Archer posts all over Philly. Right. So I already know it's effective. So the only kind I would say is that they eventually come down. The city workers clean it up, the city. But yeah. we already did our damage by then. <laughs> right, facts. Yeah. Facts, facts. So, like, even when it comes to, like, working with, like, a new artist, like... What advice would you give them to, like, if they were just trying to get their shit gone with the promo? Like, how important is it, uh, basically, to have that bag? Well, well, well yeah, we got to have, have that bag for sure. But you know what's crazy, though? Like, even though it takes a bag, I always feel like if you got a strong work ethic, like, you're going to get some money. Because everybody always likes to bring up the issues of having money, which is true. But at the same time, you got to prioritize. Like, I was, I remember I was talking to a client, like, a while back, right? And he was like, yo, man, I ain't got no money for that shit. Da, 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 da. It's too much. But I'm like, dude, you probably eat out every day four or five times a week. You probably spending a hundred a week going to right. a little city view to get you a cheese steak. Right. Eating out every day three, four times a week. Yeah. You do the math, you probably spending a couple hundred. Yeah. So I ain't saying you gotta be born because if you look at if you look at it historically, a lot of rappers, the majority come from the street, mm-hmm. but they finally got somebody to receive their work and it was like, yo, I wanna put some bread up. Right. But you telling me you ain't got two hundred dollars to get a box of posters? Like <laughs> you spending more on that with a pair of kicks. Right, right. N- niggas in the hood got six hundred dollar Balenciagas. Invest in your career, people. So Invest it's like in especially come career. on man, nowadays like anybody could do it now. So I ain't yeah. saying you gotta be born with a million dollars, but the way it is these days, even if you don't become like a megastar, you got dudes out here making 200k off rap, like a year. I take that, that could be done. Yeah, I'm saying, take that, yeah, take that. Yeah, 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 so like you just gotta. I let them know from the rip, like it's a business. You got a new mixtape, a new album. The same way McDonald's letting everybody know they got the new Big Mac on sale and they got a big billboard on the highway. You got to promote your music. Mm-hmm. Try to simplify Facts. it, you know. Shit. So back to Sean Archer, bro. Yeah, I see your name buzzing, like. I guess you, you try to, I feel as though like you try to like do like not controversy, but you try to have an opinion, stand on shit, yeah. try to stand on shit. So do you feel as though, with your opinion, are you ready for the, like the industry and shit? Are you ready for that? Cause you know, once something hit, once you yeah, hit, yeah. you ready I mean, for that scrutiny? You ready to get canceled, bro? You think you get ready to stand on getting canceled? I, 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 for sure. At the end of the day, right? Because you don't even got to be controversial. At the end of the <laughs> day, controversial to get canceled. Everybody here has an opinion that right. will make them go viral if right. they said it. Right. You right. got some people who was talking about Trump, but really would they, they might not say it in public, but it yeah. was Trump in the background. Right. Or you right. got stuff that happened that people would say. So at the end of the day, all I'm saying is my opinion. Right. Again, when I went back to music is an extension of who I am. I bid all day, I trolled right, right. in real life. Like right. we you would see me with my family, we'd just be trolling all day. So me <laughs> saying something, I'm just telling you my opinion. Right. If you don't like it, that's fine. But at the end of the day, like just to piggyback off of Q, like with the with the music thing and, and, and how to build yourself up, you gotta remember, it's like a it's like a channel. Yeah. You got the ID channel, you might see unsolved mysteries and all that. You got ESPN, which has sports. This is your channel. Mm-hmm. What do you want people to see on your channel? This is your channel. Right. I'm quite sure it's a channel that you know that you don't watch. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I don't even watch cable. I, Say, I'm, look, I watch fucking YouTube and shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll be watching it's YouTube. It's rappers that you know. It's rappers yeah. that you know that's popping that you don't like. It, it gotta be one. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, and it because it's you're right. It's not about. So what I'm saying it's is, not so, about that. It's about who fuck with you. So who yeah. can really get canceled for real, for real? Right, right. For real, for real. Yeah, Cause yeah. Because always gonna be somebody to agree, man. You got people out here. Charles Manson had people killing people with yeah. it, man. So at the end of the day, it's like, you always gonna have somebody that agree with your opinion. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't really care. Like, what, what, you know, it's my opinion. Yeah, I can, I can agree yeah. with that because the only way you can really get canceled if you try and do some corporate shit with like Sony or like fucking Walt Disney or some shit. Yeah. You can get I mean, fired from on that. that. On that yeah, sense, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. You got like that corporate job and I'm yeah, higher up. I want to get yeah, you out of here. They don't stop you from getting money, though. Yeah. Exactly. You still you know, get money. Like, look at Boozy. Boozy be saying stuff that. <laughs> yeah, but Boosie Boosie a got a wild fan. boy. But you see, he got a hell of a fan. Yeah, you got yeah. people that agree with he him. He fuck with his people. Yeah, you got people yeah. that agree with him. So shit. Yeah. So, and they don't even got to be a lot of people. Just like what they say, like a good, a good ten percent. Like yeah. 
They just love you. Like that's what it's it just is. Like yeah, independent channel. artists. If you had a th- if you if you're an independent artist with a thousand loyal fans, you can be strict. Yeah. If you got a, a thousand people that will spend money with you all the time. Yeah. Then, like, if they spend a hundred dollars, that's a hundred thousand. Right, 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 right. So, yeah, all you yeah. need is a thousand. Yeah. Matter of fact, I should have did this at the beginning, but rest in peace, rest in peace to the uh, the young boy Cheese, Gilly's yeah, son, Gilly's man. Son, yeah, yep. the, sure. the goddamn violence is out of control, mm-hmm. man. So coming up as an artist in Philly, bro, how do you even navigate with the hate? It's too real. Like yeah, yeah. I was talking to my man the other day. We were talking about how like. How the whole state property at one point was really state property. Yo, I remember you prison, said that. Bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's a fact. yeah but like, the exception for like young Chris, they all been to jail. Yeah, like, they all been to right, jail, right, bro. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. but that's because just like attested, like mm. coming up in Philly, bro. Yeah. Philly too real. Yeah. Like how like what's some tips you can give? I guess another up and coming artist coming out the area of navigating Philly. Like how did you do it, bro? If they really come from the streets on some road, it's just knowing. This is for anybody, just regular human, just knowing your worth, man. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we, I, I mean, a lot of us grew up, like I grew up, I grew up right across, right up the street. All right. Delhan Dolphin, I'm right here. Damn. So, so yeah, I literally. grew up terrible. Yeah. I seen and dead bodies. We know bodies. what that looked like. That's right also. Right there. Y'all yeah. shot my video right there. Yeah. So, it's just knowing who you are and understanding, like, don't be a follower. Like, you got to do what makes sense, man. Like, the way you navigate, you just got to, you just got to know your worth, man. Like, understand that. You gotta look at think about the consequences of when you about to do something. Okay. Like you got a lot of people like, yeah, this person snitch or this person do this, this person do that. A lot of people haven't been sitting where they've been facing life. Mm. But my thing saying that, I'm not saying you're supposed to tell, because as a man, you're supposed to stand on what you do. But Definitely. you gotta know what you're doing. If, if I know I'm about to if I know I'm gonna do something, right. I know what come with it. Right. If I know you, if I know you a wanted murderer and you my homie and you like showing them when we take you home. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> right, right. Cause right. what you gonna do when the cop try to pull you over? Run, shoot it out. Right. So knowing my worth is like, no, I'm not on that. So at the end of the day, it's like if you do come up in the streets and you're from the streets and you've been doing certain stuff, you gotta know who you are, man. You putting yourself in certain positions can get you killed or yeah. get you. I mean, that, that's basically it. Putting yourself in certain positions. I mean, like me, I got I got jewelry and stuff on. You're not gonna just see me just randomly chilling right, in the right. Chinese store. <laughs> where, it is literally like having a bag of money just sitting on, on the corner. Right. What's right. gonna happen? They gonna jump gonna jump on it. Right. So it's anybody. Like, they don't give a fuck who it is. So it's just understanding yeah. who you are as a person and really knowing your worth. That's the that's for anybody. That's not just music, it's knowing your worth and knowing what under people know what's right and what's wrong and you gotta just navigate your way through that, man. Like and a lot of this shit ain't real. Like a lot of this music, these dudes be talking <laughs> some of it is, don't get me wrong, but it's entertainment, man. Like nobody look at Al Pacino and say yeah. Oh, he's Scarface. He really is shooting you in your face. That shit like, actually is kind of becoming yeah. a problem because a lot of these because niggas can't murder yeah, cases. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, y'all yeah, niggas so. can't be killing niggas and then rapping about it. You can either kill niggas and don't rap about it or yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking not kill niggas and rap about it. Like, understanding yeah. who you are. Like I said, just know right. your worth, man. Like, like, when you get to a certain point, you got to realize, like, I'm, I'm, worth, I'm way more valuable than... Yeah. Than that, you know what I mean? So yeah. just stop doing crimes and making songs about it. Yeah, now that's dumb. Yeah, if you if you're a criminal, <laughs> I, I, I ain't I ain't saying I'm a, if you're a criminal, just be a criminal. You can't be a, a famous criminal. <laughs> you can't document your shit. Yeah, right. you can't be a famous criminal. Y'all bro, saw the yeah. the young boy that uh, he was doing fucking bank fraud. He made a whole song about doing that shit. Like he put all the steps into it and actually did it in his video. Like, is, is that the one that was all over the internet? Like yeah, 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 like, yeah. Like, I didn't look into the full story, but I seen something. But I didn't like, like look into the whole thing. I think know, I seen that on Say Cheese. Or motherfuckers something. don't think like how bad do you want marketing? You know, bro? basically doing a CFCF. Right, let right, right, right. Let me in. Let, right. let me let in. Let me in. Yeah, because I mean, like, yeah. bro, if you out here, you hitting the bank for seventy thousand every week. What the fuck you even rapping about the shit for? Like, what? Want, <laughs> like, what? What is that? Fame right. became the new drug. Everybody yeah. wants to be famous, even if they got the money. Like, everybody wants yeah, to be famous. It definitely is. Nigga was hitting the hitting the fucking bank every week for seventy thousand. I'm not. First of all, if I'm rapping, I don't be rapping on some J Cole shit. Exactly. You're the opposite. <laughs> yeah, right. You're the opposite. Right. But that fame, people want. People want the fame and the Instagramification. Just, just everybody to know them is like if they do anything for it. Man, do anything for it, man. It's crazy. This shit is crazy. But either way, I've been paying close attention to my man Sean Archer's mm-hmm. Instagram and shit. I've been seeing you using Del Frisco's. You know what yeah, I'm saying yeah, yeah. you a frequent flyer at the jewelry oh, yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, for sure. Shout out to Danny. A lot of people don't know too much about Philly. Yeah, all they really know is Uzi, Meek Mill, all mm-hmm. that shit. Yeah, if you me. was to bring somebody out from out of town to to Philly for a night for a night out, 
where are you taking them? Give me a couple places, a couple spots. If y'all was hitting it, like what club y'all hitting? What strip club y'all hitting? What bar y'all hitting? What y'all eat? Depending on what type of vibe we is. I don't know. Like, what, what, what you, we you with the homies and y'all got a couple of vibes. Everybody, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a three man joint. Y'all got a couple of vibes. They ain't from out of town. I'm not going to go to Del Frisco. What? It's going to be Del Frisco. Nah, I don't know. I might go to. There's a few. You got Sullivan's, Del Frisco's. I might go to Barclay Prime, Ocean Prime. <laughs> it depends on what type of uh, what type of vibe. Or we could go, you know, we're going to get some cheesesteak from the poppy store. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. You know what right. I mean? It, 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 it depends on what type of vibe we on. You know what I mean? If it's a. If it's a strip club, I ain't really been in the strip club like that as a recent. Be honest, I be man. I be in them bars heavy though in, the, in Dominican. See, here in the Dominican land with the bars. <laughs> <I'm in laughs> Dominican land. They don't speak no English though. Speaking so the yeah, English. Yeah, 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 you have a translator. Yeah. No, it's right. funny because my man. The book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's funny because my man from New York was just out here. Like he yeah. come to Philly like every like eight months. And he yeah. kicked with me, and he be like, "Yo, man, let's go to uh, let's go to uh, North Philly, man. Where all them Dominican mommies be at, man." Like, yeah, yeah. He be like, "Damn, cute man, I need you to speak English, man." They don't speak. <laughs> no, like literally no English, like for real, like 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 we. Okay. Camera, we not lying. Like you he going to place, don't speak no English. You gotta bring that Google Translate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah for sure. But it just, it just depends. Like it depends on what they into. You know what I mean? All what right. Do, Philly's a one thing about Philly that people don't really realize. We got a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot, a lot of restaurants shit. too. A lot of yeah, restaurants. Yeah, that's why lot. when niggas be like, yo, man, ain't that dude. I'm like, cause y'all niggas don't go of, nowhere. Like, yeah, y'all niggas, niggas, niggas be trying to go to the hood spots. Like, bro, stop going to the hood spots, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. go to the nice shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have yeah, a they good don't tell got a lot of places. A lot. A lot yeah. of they got rooftops that people don't even go to. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, so it just depends. A lot of dope shit. Yeah, for sure. But nah, man. All right, so as being as though you're a Philly, Philly artist, who? Is your top five Philly artists of like? Matter of fact, not even of all time. Just who is your favorite top five Philly artists? Who's the top five to you? That's a hard. One. I'm gonna give me say Beans, Beans, and the top. This ain't no order though. I'm there no order. It's yeah. never no order. Top five is too narrowed down enough. Yeah. Beans up there. Meek up there. I'm putting Speed up there. I fuck with Speed heavy. Uh, two more. Had up there, yeah. You know I mean, just in strength of the hood. That's my uh, man. That's my guy. Joy shout out to there. Hattie. And then, then Sean Archer, man. Right? So we, we, we <laughs> Definitely, you gotta yeah, do that. Sean Archer. Yeah, yeah, gotta, there ain't no that. order though. That's just my my five. But it's a yeah. lot, a lot of. We got so many hot, hot rappers. Philly is the home of the spitters, bro. Yeah, yeah. that's rappers yeah, alive yeah, from yeah, Philly, bro. Yeah. Yeah. My top five all time, just like just being a fan, yeah, like yeah. being a fan of like just just yeah. Philly period, Philly yeah, hip hop historian, just a yeah. hip hop historian period. But as far as Philly go, oh Black Thought too, I forgot about yeah, yeah, Black Thought, yeah, so many niggas. Yeah, go, 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 like, go, go. But like, just like my five is, yeah. is Benny Siegel, mm. Meek Mill, mm. Eve, mm. Cassidy. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean. And like, like I said, Black Thought, Young Chris, but like, yeah, like Young you know, Chris Eve is one of my favorite all time. Like, just yeah. like, yo, them legends. first two Eve albums, fire. Legends, yeah, yeah, all yeah. legends, bro. Yeah. All right, so we get to the next segment. It's called your dream situation. Okay. It's about when it's if you had it your way with this game, with this hip hop game, mm -hmm. how would it go? So I'm gonna ask you, what's what major label would you do? Well, you already. With yeah. a label, y'all got your own label. Yeah, yeah, but if y'all do a joint venture with somebody, what label would that be? Like, or if you had to, like, the major, I don't know or what would, would be a good fit? But you going with Kill? But, right, going right. With. I always like partnering with Universal. Yeah. I always felt like the way they did things, the way they structured mm -hmm. their contracts, the way they treat artists, and you know, Universal basically runs everything. Yeah, like, yeah. technically, <laughs> technically speaking, nigga. everything is under Universal. <laughs> so Universal. I never really had Universal. like that. Oh, I gotta get with this label, but. Yeah. You know, you know, you look at people like Doug Morris, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, remember we was talking about, what's the boy name? Uh, Lucian, Lucian yeah, Green. Lucian Green. Come on, yeah. man. He the most powerful man in music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's universal love. Right. Yeah, so yeah. I would partner pop, with Lucian Green. If you get with Lucian Green, you out of here. Yeah, 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 out of here. Out of here. Like, he literally is the music industry. Yeah, I'm going to agree with Q on that one. I'm about, yeah, I can, I can rock with that. That's why I told niggas, like, yo, Ice Spice yeah. ain't going nowhere. Well, hell no. She's, think about how simple this is. Not to get on subject, right? Yeah. She, everybody, oh, man, she wet uh, I'm like, dog, the label that she signed to, his dad is the most powerful man in music. Well, yeah, one of them, she, yeah. she good. And all he gonna do, if, who, if she don't know how to write, who gives a fuck? They gonna yeah. get the best writing niggas up there, and she's always gonna have a hit. Yo, so Lucian Grange, man, you watching this interview, Doug Morris, holla at me, yeah, man. Man, I'll write for Ice Spice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, yeah. I got some bars for her, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? But now, nah, all right, so we got the major label, you got, you got Universal. All right, for you gotta go on your first tour, and you gotta take two artists that you feel fit with you to make a good tour. Two artists that you pick anybody. Okay. It's, your, it's your fucking dream. Mm -hmm. So, what two artists are you taking once you on tour? Damn, two artists. 
that's gonna make your tour pop. Damn, man. See, rest in peace, Dolph. Man, he'd have been one of them. Sheesh. My man Dolph would have been one of them. All right, Dolph, let me see two more. Man, uh, RP, man. I'm gonna take one of the Griselda boys. It's probably Benny and Benny and Conway. Uh, oh, I got it. I got. I picked up both of them. As yeah, one. they they Griselda. So, all right, all right, right. Man, Griselda, the Griselda. West Side Gun too, and then um. <laughs> Damn, yeah. you throwing all the niggas in there. And then I'm trying to think. Probably my man Ross. I'm gonna right. my man Ross. All right, you go with Griselda or, and Ross. Yeah, or, yeah, well, yeah, I, 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 I stay right there. All right. That's yeah. a hard, that's a hard. I'm pretty right. much in the same range, like right. manager. So, exactly so far, you got name. universal backing. Mm -hmm. You on on tour with Ross and Griselda. Yeah, yeah. All right, you gotta get your first album can only be produced by one producer. Who you who you, who you banging out? Who you bringing out for the motherfucking album? First album, debut album, major label, big budget. I'm bringing my man back, man. Kanye for president, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 give me yeah. Kanye West. He's trying man. to go yeah. diving yeah, on his yeah, first yeah. job. That shit going diving. Yeah, yeah, give me Kanye West. No matter West. what, niggas ain't never stopping yeah. Kanye music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me Kanye West. Man. That's, a hard, that's a hard one, though. Yeah. yeah All right. West, so I'm doing the recap. So far, you got your major label, Universal. Universal. Two artists, Griselda Ross, Kanye, <laughs> Kanye producing the first album. Mm -hmm. Now you got to pick. A IG model or celebrity <laughs> for your rollout scandal. Like, you gotta figure John. <laughs> Who you getting for the scandal? It gotta be an IG model? You gotta have a role. It, gotta, it can be an IG model, a celebrity, a movie star, singer. It don't got no. Yeah, me you the need a John. Yeah, like, you can't, you can't you go wrong. You seen him coming out the hotel. Oh, you can't go wrong. I, I'm naming somebody too, but go ahead. I'm, uh, I'm gonna name somebody. Nah, I was gonna say, man, you can't go wrong with that Lori Harvey for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say Lori Harvey, Kylie Jenner. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I seen you stumbling out the hotel too in the morning. Black China. Black China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That, that Lori Harvey promo budget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that Lori Harvey, Harvey. Yeah, that's going to be good promo. You know what I mean? She left Michael B for sure. Last year. <laughs> no, she with the other boy now. Oh, uh, she with the other uh, boy. Tucker. What's Album's the boy? doing numbers. Yeah, what's, the boy, what's the boy name? Uh, he from that show. Uh... What's the show everybody be watching? With the cocaine shit? I, ain't, I still ain't watching uh, that shit yet. Oh, oh Snowfall Boy. Oh, uh, yeah. Damien, uh, Damien. Yeah, yeah, Snowfall Boy. British Boy. Yeah. That yeah. shit. Oh, God, okay. Yo, that shit was crazy as hell when I found out this nigga was British. Yeah, like, yeah, God, that's crazy how they pull that shit yeah. off, right? Like, damn. But, uh, right, yeah, so I got her for the role, like Lori Harvey. Right, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going Kim down. Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, any of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you get Kim K, that. That's that, yeah. like, shit. That's, that's, like the, that's like the platinum practice right <laughs> yeah. there. But, um, yeah, man. So we got Sean Archer in the building, mm -hmm. man. I appreciate you coming through, bro. No, what no you problem. got coming soon, bro? Well, I got some new music coming, new videos coming, new project, new everything coming, man. You know what I mean? New everything. Everything. Man. Yeah, new new merch coming, everything. I got everything coming. Uh, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Back everything. in the booth next yeah, week. Yeah, back yeah, in the booth next in, week, yeah, man. Back, yeah. man. Make sure I be on the lookout for SKE records, bro. I mean I mean, you got any fucking uh advice for like new artists if they wanna reach out to you or just anything to say yo, for like if anybody got, wanna work with you. Yo, try to this is the man yeah. you need to talk to if you're trying to get your shit off the ground, bro. Try to do proper protocol. Y'all slide into my DMs, less work, and then when I say, yo, all business inquiries, hit me up on this email. Y'all never do it. Like, come on, y'all gotta y'all gotta learn how to do proper protocol. You wouldn't do that on a job interview. So right, right. less work don't just mean, yo, let me convince Q that I'm hot and hopefully he can work with me for free. Like, no, come up with a budget. Let's actually you wanna you wanna be in the music business, let's do business. Like Don't you send your you track, know? bro. Send the fucking cash yeah, out. Yeah, like <laughs> business. Like You're people, people be complaining on Facebook, like, oh man. You gotta have money to be in this rap shit, but I'm like, it can't, you, you can't have it both ways. You can't complain about the money that it takes to make it, but then you still want to make money. If right. you want to make money, you gotta take care of the people that's gonna help you accomplish that. Like, right, it, right. It go, or you could just rap for free, but it goes both ways, you know. Yeah, so no sure. bullets. Have your weeks, you know. Don't be DMing these Instagram models. <laughs> right, right. No, bu no you, you know what? No Balenciagas this month. Let me put that towards my promo. Right, right. There you go. This shit towards your promo, man. And understand, this is a business. Definitely a business. In order to make money, you gotta do business and stay consistent. Music business. Business. Man. Yep. If you're doing it for fun, don't hit you up. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, before I get out of here, I wanted to ask you. You always throw that marketing genius, <laughs> marketing right. genius slogan around and shit on uh, Facebook. Social, yeah, social media oh, yeah, and shit. Yeah, I need to get your top three marketing geniuses before you get out of they here. They rappers? Hold on. They, they rappers? Or just, Eddie, who he just think who got it? Who, who out here? All right. For this, for the recently, who's, who's fucking them up? Yeah. Damn, damn, recently? Well, yeah. 
Look, as much as people hate Bull, 6'9", yeah, he, yeah. he knows how to stay in the news. Oh, y'all saw that shit just happened? Yeah. Kodak, yeah. Kodak, yeah. Kodak. I ain't listened to it yet. I ain't listened to it yet, but that shit's fucked but, up but, from what I saw. Yeah. <laughs> but, Kodak but, but recently, yeah. but, I, but I would say this, like, it's just all time. I, I, that's the easiest for me. I would say 50 Cent, 6'9", mm-hmm. and Soulja Boy. Woo! Soulja Boy's a fucking... Yeah. Kanye's up there, too, but Soulja yeah. Boy is a monster. Who you got, bro? And they ain't got to be no rapper, right? Nah, I ain't gonna be anybody. Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. Donald Trump. He's the Donald he's number Trump. one marketing genius. Probably the, he, he's one of the main In ones. history, bro. Yeah, he definitely. He, he, might, definitely. he, he said 50 already. It. He said 69. Yeah, he got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say Donald bro, Trump. Bro, even them Kai, fucking Trump Tower Kai, shits yeah. is all marketing. He don't own right. them shits. He's licensed his name to it. Yeah. You know, yeah. another good another go one, too, Kevin Gates. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah Kevin he's not keeping something in the news, too. Yeah. yeah. Saying, wow, I mean, them Kardashians, too, though. Yeah, they're some of the top ones, too. I mean, we y'all rank my nigga Adam 22. He gave his nigga donated his wife for the club. Oh, you heard about that? Like, yeah. You know, another good one, too? Black 100. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We watch him all day. Black 100 be trying to be on the TK Kirkland shit. Like, he, he be saying he was there for a lot of shit. Yeah. These people don't realize that a lot of this stuff is strategically done. Yeah, yeah. They think these people just flying out. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. thought this through. Yeah, and people eat it up every time. Yo, every time. Go back 100. <laughs> he was saying some crazy shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was in the corner when, <laughs> like, when yeah, anybody always, was fighting anybody. Like, that nigga was always there yeah. in every event. On the TK Kirkland shit, but yeah, man. We about to get up out of here, man. I want to give a shout out to SKE Records. Thank man. you, man. Cue the question. Sean Archer, man. I appreciate y'all coming no through, problem, man. man. Appreciate shout it. out to people where they can find y'all one more time before y'all With go. me on Instagram. Instagram, I'm on TikTok now. Twitter at I am Sean Archer. I'm about to get this new with that new shit. Threads or yeah, it's I'm threads. Get one then they got some other shit that's just like all black people. Well, I'm about to find out. Anyway, all I, black people. At, yeah, I am they Sh- made like a black Twitter or some shit. Okay, got you. Yeah, so at, 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 I am Sean Archer on every platform except for YouTube is Sean Archer TV, and my website is IamSeanArcher dot com. Right. Cash App I am Sean Archer. If y'all just want to send something. <laughs> yep, definitely. Just, same here, man. Look me up. Cue the question. Cue the question. Yep. All right, man. It's your boy Muggy getting money. That's more than likely. And we out this bitch. Peace. Yo. I'm the man with the iron, leave them all ghosts. Ghost. Throwing shots, eyes closed. That's a no scope. That's a no scope.